Hi, I'm Corn Milk, and today, the Festus has blessed us. Today is a redstone day! Huzzah! And today what we're going to be making is something I'm really proud of. It took me a while to do. Um, but it's a secret chest. Well, you, you saw the title of the video. It's a secret chest that you can open with an item frame by moving an ob object around an item frame. However, there's a master lock, so it doesn't always work. It'll only work when the master lock is unlocked. So let's get into it. I built this forge armory hybrid, and it's got a secret chest to hide my netherite so, you know, the wrong people don't find it. And I'll show you how I did it. You might be wondering, Corn, you've been making secret rooms. Why would you decide to suddenly do a secret chest? And then you may, may, might be wondering, Corn, why aren't you even looking at your project? And it's because this is the reason I've done all this. This is me trying and failing to make a combination lock. Which is not to say I will never be able to do a combination lock. It's just to say that at this time, I do not possess the skills or knowledge to build a combination lock, and I am too stubborn to Google it. So right now, we're going to put this project on hold, and I'm just going to keep fiddling with it. However, what I did find when I was working on this is that I can set it, the, the problem I had was that I could, I, could, I could make a combination lock, but I could only set it to two positions. I could, I could make it uh, work when it was like this, and I could make it work when it was sideways, but I couldn't make it work at any other time specifically. Which, would, by specifically, I mean I could make it work at a certain time, but it would also work at other times, other positions of the whatever you have in here. However, because I could make it, I could make it, real in this position and in this position, I kind of still could make a secret something. And so that's where this comes in. If you walk in here, you'll notice you can spin all of these around in item frames, and each one of them specifically puts out a different redstone signal. Now, I'm spinning this, and I'm just going to let you know now it's the gold one, and nothing's happening. And that's because I put a master lock in. So yeah, this isn't just for decoration. So now if I spin it... Netherite chest. Locked. Locked. What makes this entire circuit work, the one I have right there that I, and the one I have in there, um, is comparators. Because there's this cool thing about comparators, which is um, they take, they take, they, they get redstone from all of the sides, but they don't do the same thing. So um, when you've got them like this, for example, not, not with the front torch on, but just with the back torch on, um, then you can see it's going through here. But it only lets through, it'll only send the signal through if the sides are not bigger than the back. So, if I weaken this a little bit, it won't go through, because this is stronger than that. But it would really take a while and be quite messy to just, like, have to put a certain amount of redstone to weaken the signal. So another thing you can do is that, as we learned previously, composters. You can set composters. Um, to have values by using seeds. So, all right. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now this is at five. It has a max of eight, technically. Um, I learned from my previous compost thing that it ha actually has eight because it's seven. Uh, it's seven when it's just the top level and it's eight when it has compost in it, like the white stuff on top. Okay, so this is at five. So then if um, I put something in here, let's say another composter, this one, which is one, two, well, no, one, two, there we go, three, still not going through, four, five, equal, it goes through. So if it's, if it's, uh, if it's, uh, it, it only lets a signal through if the side is less than or equal to uh, the middle. Well, I guess the back. And then there's the question of like, how does any of this relate to what I was doing with the item frames, because there does not appear to be any compost anywhere inside. I'm just kind of moving this around. Well, this part is cool. No, I want the, that. There we go. This part is cool, because what you can do is if you put an item frame on a block, it doesn't have to be a glow item frame, and then you stick a comparator running out of it, it powers a different amount. Being in the initial position is worth one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And what's interesting about that, you might have noticed, is that I just said that composters have eight levels of fullness. So this is a wonderful match, really, because they both have eight levels. So if, for example, I stick this here, and this is at five, 
One, two, three, four, five. It lets it through. Now, how does this circuit work? Because you can clearly see it's got two composters in it and, well, three comparators. Two composters, two comparators, two composters with comparators leading out of them. My goodness, I can't talk today. So the, you might notice that this one is set to five and this one is set to six. So the position that this works in is this one. Because here, this is, this is eight, which is bigger than five. And over here, it is, it has moved to, so it's six. So because, because this, this starts out as eight and then seven, and this is at six, so it doesn't let it through. So it turns this off and uh, it's actually powering it. It's powering this piston down here, um, which was, which then pulls the block down because it was, it, when it's, the cool thing about these is when this is always, this is putting out, this is putting out a signal. This is putting out a signal when it's not being powered. So that means uh, this is putting out a signal when this isn't sending out a signal, which means that we can have the piston powered to hide the chest. But then when we do actually, this, this hits this, which is unpowered, and then piston pulls down, we see the chest. So you'll see if we go around back, look, okay, 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 fine, fine. I have a confession to make. It's a very easy to tell confession because I'm literally just standing in front of it, but my, the back of this build is kind of horrendous, um, which is not normally what I do. Normally, I am very good at hiding it, but this time, the, the old chimney thing didn't work. The chimney thing didn't work. That's really, like, oh my gosh, how much was I, I even played the game where I just tried to make it smaller. Um, I'm sure someone smarter than me could definitely make it smaller than this, but this is this is as small as I could make it. And the big part, the really big annoying part, isn't even the compost bit. The compost bit is small. The annoying big part is the master switch, which we will get to. But anyway, just need to confess that yes, the back is horrendous, and I, I built this entire second session. This this side is useless. This side is absolutely useless. I just built it to cover up this. <laughs> so anyway, I yeah. The back of this is horrendous. Um, but anyway, you can see here. Um, this is the back of the axe coming out. This is eight, seven, um, so it's seven, which is greater than six. So when it's powered, it will turn this off, which will turn the entire thing off. Um, and all the way to the chest, which is over here. However, the really cool bit is the master switch bit, which took me so long. Oh my goodness, it took me forever. Um, but, uh, the, the way that works is... From the switch over here, the, the, the default position that this is going to be in is this one, the powered one, because it looks like like hanging things. Uh, I always forget what they're called. No, never mind. Uh, they always they look like hanging things. So this is always going to be powered. Well, it's, when it's when their lock should be in place, it should be powered. So as you can see, we can just continue this lock down, and then here's the part I'm really proud of. Um, so if you look here, this is an incomplete circuit. However. If this piston was powered, it would extend and push um, this redstone lamp out. The redstone lamp would be powered, and then it would take this signal um, via comparator and send it all the way down to turn it off. And that's how the master switch works, because it completes the circuit. So even no matter how much I twirl the little thing in the item frame around, because the circuit is incomplete, it won't work unless the master switch is flipped. And so I can twirl it. Nothing happens. Master switch something happens. Now I'm actually going to try something new and show you a time lapse of me building all of this. Um, a, a sped up time lapse. Oh my, very much sped up because it, this took me, this took me around an hour and a half. Um, and so, but I think it would be interesting to show you guys a time lapse of me working on it. So I'm going to show you a time lapse with some funky music. Um, let's go. Oh, and I know I promised you music while this was going, but, um, just, just, as a forward in the beginning, you will notice as I'm doing this that I am a very indecisive builder. Um, I, I just change my mind all the time. So if you're wondering why this ended up being an hour and a half, it's because I couldn't decide on anything and kept going back and forth. Also, I have cut out a large section of this. The section I cut out is the one where I tried to cover everything up with a chimney. I'm j I just cut that out. Enjoy.
I hope you enjoyed watching. If you didn't, oof, I guess. Anyway, I hope to see you in my corner of the internet sometime soon. See you next time, maybe.